So we need the T nuts. They're going to be for uh, that's what that's that's what this last piece is for. It's going to go across here as the other gantry. But we need them on here. So that's four. What was it we said? I put them down here somewhere. Yeah, I must have moved them again. Four pieces of M4 by 8s. Okay, let me just get those on. So they're going to go into the holes that are on the top of these left and right brackets. So the wife's just arrived home, but she's given me permission to stay in the sewing room for now. So let's continue assembling this. Okay, so now we have this assembled. As you can see, uh, both gantries are on. I've added the two T-nuts on each of the runners. So the next thing we've got to do is put the um, head together. So we need a two mil by 10 screws, the switch, the extruder itself, which has a few other things added to it. And we need the frame, which we got sitting right here. So here is the extruder. I'll, uh, it already has the micro switch attached. All the wheels are already attached. And I guess the two screws to screw the micro switch on uh, already attached as well, as well as a little piece of plastic. So I think that's all of it, unless there's a piece we're missing somehow. But I guess we'll find out. Um, let's have a look further down here. Okay, so as you can see, micro switch is already intact. The head is here. I'm not sure what kind of head that is. It's red. Looks like a... Um, like a very much like a E3D kind of head, but a big gap there between the um, heat break, the he heating block, and the actual uh, heat sink of the head. Uh, anyway, it's all pre-assembled, so let's just leave it at that. Um, see what the instructions say. So take the assembly. Secure the limit switch using two PP 2mm 10mm screws. That's already done. Um, put the aluminum four component into the T nut of the left and right side plate. Oh, uh, let's zoom out just a little bit here. So I think before we put the Head, before we put the aluminum extrusion onto these brackets here, we need to slide the head on. Um, so let's do that now. Getting it the right way up, of course. So I think this is a square extrusion, so it shouldn't matter which way round. Ow. It goes. I have to say, these are actually fitting on very nicely to these extrusions, which is good. So that's the head on. Um, so this would now be going to be the back of the machine at this side. So this is going to come up onto these extrusions here. So let me just screw these up and then I'll be right back to you. So best way of aligning this, you want to make sure this is square, is to push the whole gantry back to the edge so that it lines up with the side of the frame that will probably give us the best starting point for making sure it's nice and square okay let me just tighten this up and i'll be back so just keeping a little bit of gentle pressure to the back of the frame will help to keep the whole assembly square to the frame we may have to adjust this later but for now that will do and we'll tighten up these screws I think I have the front and back the wrong way around because these belts are going to attach here and I've got my pulleys at the back so I need to just flip this around. Be right back. Okay, there we have it as per the picture now. 
The extruder is on the right hand side here. Just sat the belt on the top for the moment because there's nowhere to, uh, sorry, the uh, chain, cable chain on the top to nowhere to screw to yet. So head is on this side, the pulleys are on that side as well. So that's good. Um, ready for the next step, I think.